Hello, it's Mr. Tando, and I'm here with a video on distancing. Um, it's, I've, I've touched on it briefly in other videos where I've said that uh, with a lean, you don't necessarily want to be, um, if, I'm, if I'm fighting, I'm upright. I've got nowhere to go when I go and lean back. Whereas if I've got a little bit forwards lean, uh, and this is the space that, that my opponent sees me in, when the shot comes here, they're aiming for this, and they're not aiming for this, and I've got some way to go because I've already done a forwards lean. Now, this is the distancing with your own striking, okay? Um, you wanna know what you can reach and what you can't reach, and you wanna know how easily you can do it. So I've got Wave Master here, but you can just do it with a wall without necessarily punching, you can just go for the tap. Um, now, this squares, you know, our training squares are, are, are a metre. So if I'm standing at half a metre, uh, this, is, this is nice and easy and I can touch this. But from this position, this is me just touching it. This isn't me trying to drive power. Trying to try and drive power towards it, I, I can't hit through it. I can just, just, I can just tap it. Whereas if, if I want to hit through it, I've got to move forwards okay, um, and, 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 and come up a little bit so I can, so I can do that. But I can reach that. Now, if I move back a little bit more, I'm going to have to lean even more to do it and drive the power in. Now, for me to tap it though, is fine. So if someone was firing a shot and I parried the shot and I went to throw a counter, all I need to do is, is just blind their vision a little bit. Just so they have that flinch reaction. Now, it's not 100% all the time, but it definitely helps. So if I'm in this position and I, I, I go, I've thrown that and I've just tapped it, that's okay because that is my blind and vision. Now if I want to try and drive power to it, I've really got to um, get that lean forward, okay, and then I'll come off the ground for back end, okay, in order to get that reach, in order to land that shot with a, a modicum of power. Now, if I get back to a meter, now this is the hardest part, okay, so if I'm here and I'm trying to reach a meter is, is from my arm, because I'm only five by five, so it's, it's, it's hard work. So from here, okay, I can just, and the pad's a little bit further back than me, I can uh, just tap it, okay? So if I'm at that range, I know I can't really, I can't do a, a genuinely good shot. Now, when it comes to kicking, my legs, sound weird but my legs are pretty much the same length reach as my as my uh, as my arm does. So when I'm at that meter distance, okay, if I point my if I point my tail I can just about get it. Okay. So my distance for me personally, letting you into a secret guys if you're aspiring with Mr. T uh, is a meter. So if I'm uh, a meter away from you I cannot kick you. <laughs> Unless I'm jumping off or flying in with a shot but that is my reach. Now when you're up against other people, you want to be able to judge their distance. Now it's only through experience that you can, you can do it naturally to, to see the length of someone's arm and think, well they, can, they can't get me from that position. Um, but knowing yourself is the most important bit. Uh, if, you, if you fire a shot and they're, they're nowhere near you, well, you just wasted energy. You, you never want to waste energy. Okay? Sometimes you might want to throw a shot to tempt them or as a fake. But that's, you, you've purposely gone and done that. If you tried to hit them and you're nowhere near and you find you a lot of power into it, yeah, that's definitely a waste. Okay, so know your distance. And this is part of the things I want you to do whilst you're, whilst you're training, looking at these online videos, and suss out your distance and do it regularly. Even if it's like you're outside and you're talking with a bunch of friends and you're just leaning against the wall, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, what was your attitude last night? It's just, you, you know, your distance, it's subtly, albeit you might not be doing this normally, on that day. On that, uh, okay. but then that's your elbow reach, okay? Um, right, so it's Mr. Sando, know your distance, and I'll see you in the next video.